Let's talk about bullets and converting bullets into a smart art. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Microsoft PowerPoint, which is what I did. And it opened me up into a title slide, which I'm going to change. I'm going to change the layout from a title slide to a title and content slide. So let's do that. And we're going to call this food. So the first thing I'm going to do is proceed to write out my bullets. All right, so after meats, I'm going to put after veggies, I'm going to put For sweets, let's put chocolate cake. Red velvet. And for drinks, let's put So as you see, as I created the list um, it made the text smaller and smaller. So I did this because I want to demonstrate two things. One, you can resize your placeholders by grabbing hold to the handles and resizing it. You can actually turn your placeholders too by rotating it with your mouse by dragging and clicking. Now, let's finish with the conversation about creating a bullet. You'll see that this first bullet this is literally called a first level bullet and these are second level bullets the first level bullet is at 15 second level bullets are at 13. now we have a few other bullets that we can put at the second level for instance steak chicken and fish if i hit increase list level it will change it. Collard string beans and sweet peas. And then I can hit the control button and select chocolate, red velvet, lemon cake, and apple cobbler. I can change those to second levels. With drinks, I can change Pepsi to a second level and then turn around and change Rock Creek to second level and then change the fruit punch and strawberry to third level and that's how you create a bulleted list now what i'm going to do is duplicate this slide we can also click the shortcut button and hit duplicate slide and it will duplicate the slide so we've duplicated the same slide twice what i want to do though on this first one I want to put some pizzazz to this one. So I want to change food and let's add some flavor to that particular uh, title placeholder. So let's go, let's do food. Let's go to the home tab and center it. Let's make it smaller. 
okay? We can take food, go back to the shape and format, click on word art, and then change the way it shows up. We can increase the font. And let's go back to shape formatting and let's add an effect to the word. Let's put a glow on it because I really like food. So what I'm going to do is select from meat all the way down to drinks and then click on convert to a smart art. I like to go to the more because you get to see uh, all of the options that you have. So let's go to list and let's go to my favorite list, which is this one. Now what smart art has done is take those bullets and combine them into a format for the smart art. What I really want to show you is how to fill these circles with different colors and or a picture. So to change their colors, you would have to click on the smart art format and then you can change the fill to whatever color you want to change it to. Pretty simple. To change it to a picture, you go back to shape fill, click on picture. And let's look for an online picture. How about a salad? That looks yummy. Let's insert that salad. And now that salad has been inserted into the bullet fields for each one of those. Now we can click back on the Smart Art, go to Smart Art Design, and we can choose various effects for the Smart Art. So what you see me doing is rolling over the different effects to choose the one I want. We can also change the color. You also have more colors down here. Accent six, five, four, three, two, one, and then colorful. And this is how you would create a bulleted list, change their levels, and create a smart art from a bulleted list.